The Other Side Media Group and 91X now present The Other Side Radio Show, a program about people who make a difference from all walks of life in Quinty and beyond. And now here are your hosts, Jeremy and Joshua Davis. Hi, this is Dre. I am with Jeremy and Joshua Davis from The Other Side, and we are at the 116 Bistro on Pinnacle Street, rocking out. Hopefully, we have a great show for you today. Yes, we're here at the 116 Bistro and having a great time. I'm Joshua Davis, and this is The Other Side. I'm Jeremy Davis, and as you just heard, joining us behind the mic, today we have Dreyer. Welcome to our show. It's great to have you here today. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Um, so I heard one of you guys ask me a question earlier why my stage name is Dre. So uh, I'd love to share that with you. My, uh, my full name is Andrea Ricks, R-I-X. Um, but my nieces, um, they're teenagers, and they sometimes would, well, and my nephew too. He's cool too. Um, <laughs> anyway, they would, um, you know, they'd come to my house on the weekend and they'd be like, Aunt Dre, you're so fun to be with. And I kind of, jumped into this like fun ant persona this year and I'm kind of finding myself and the one of the fun things that I love about myself is that I'm just kind of out there and outgoing and just owning you know life right now so I decided to use Dre as my stage name because that's who I am when I'm on stage I'm just owning it and being myself and being my true authentic self so that's why I'm going with Dre. Well, uh, that's a really cool story. And you were mentioning that when we were off air in our little chat. Um, now, we first met you at the Quinty Exhibition uh, this past year. You rocked the raceway. Um, can you tell us how you got into music? And we'll go from there. We ask every artist this. And um, then we'll get into the other bits of this amazing story. Thanks. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I've been doing music at church pretty much since I was a teenager um, on, on the worship team. I was just a vocalist, just a vocalist. Um, and I was sharing this a bit off air with you all. Um, I started, I've been playing guitar on and off for 20 years, but I really do suck. Uh, so I remember one year... <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, I remember one year um, I said, hey guys, can I just bring the guitar and just not plug it in? But I mean, the guys on the worship team at Trenton Wesleyan are just amazing. And so I said, if I just don't plug it in, it's not intimidating. No one has to hear me. And then I could follow along and try to practice, right? And uh, so anyways, I was doing that. And then how we figure out if we're going to use a new song or not is we listen to it and then we try to jam it out and see if it works so we listened to one song and it was really like a down eastern type feel and then we just couldn't like get it started and I was like well it just goes like this and then I just played it and it was like dude you're gonna play on the worship team now and I was like no 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 I'm not <laughs> and it was terrifying because I didn't think I could play at all and they're like no you're you're doing that one song and I said okay I'll do the one song and then over time, it was like, okay, well, maybe you can do the rest of the set list. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll do the rest of the set list. Because, I mean, a church set list is, what, like seven songs? And I was like, okay, I, can, I think I can handle that. So literally, the night before I was set to play, I was out in my garage in the minus 40 weather practicing these songs, going, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then uh, the next morning, I was like, I can't do this, guys. And they're like, no, you'll be fine. And I was like, okay, Lord God, just get me through. And so I did, and then it was just like, well, now you're on the worship team as the guitar player as well. And I was like, okay. So I said, I'll play until you guys get a good guitar player. And then they did get a good guitar player, but they kept me for a while anyways, which is great. Um, but anyway, how I got into music professionally, um, actually almost a year ago to the day, um, my husband left me, which is, it worked out well for both of us, so don't worry, no hard feelings there. Um, but about three days later, I joined a rock band as the front woman because I just needed something for me, and it was amazing. And I was like, oh, my goodness, all my dreams are coming true with being front woman of a rock band. We were called the Honey Badger Outfit, and uh, they were pretty decent. They were, it, was, it was a good time. We had a couple really great gigs, and we worked our tails off getting it all together. And then that band broke up a few months later, which really sucked, because that was getting me through, you know, the toughest time of my life. And I was like, once again, let down by men. <laughs> right? So... Then I was like, what do I do with myself? I didn't feel confident enough on guitar to do anything on my own. I wanted a new band. And I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I don't have, you know, 20 grand worth of equipment at my house. I'm not that great at guitar. I don't know what I'm doing. And I remember calling my dad and being like, Dad, like, I just, 
I don't know what to do with my life. And he's like, Andrea, you need to start a new band. Like, just do it. And I was like, I can't just do it. I don't have enough stuff and I'm not that good. He's like, just do it. He's like, you're single. You have time on your hands. This is the best time in your life to go for your dreams. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Well, that's just amazing. And it sounds like, uh, you know, you just unleashed your inner rock child there. Uh, and so there's a good moral to that story. Uh, you know, out of um, uh, some uh, pain, uh, trials and tribulations, uh, you just push forward even uh, when you didn't think you could do it and look where you are today. Josh wants to jump in there right now. I could tell he has a burning question. Now, did you ever imagine yourself as a singer, as a kid, or not? Yeah, like every day. Oh my goodness, that was totally my dream, is to do music professionally. But I thought, ah, uh, you know, what's the chances of that ever happening? And then by now, I'm like, ah, I'm almost 40, I'm too old. Yeah. It's not going to happen. But I mean, here I am living the dream, right? Like, now I do have my own band and I did join another rock band and I'm doing solo music on my own and I'm getting gigs and I'm just having a blast so I've got a rock band in Coburg they're called Days Gone Bad with a Z and we play hard rock and it's a fun time and I'm also starting a new band which is going to be a dance band and we're called Midnight Snacks and so uh, keep an eye out for that that'll be out in a couple months I just want to ask you would you ever like a Swinging cowboy in your music video. I guess I've lost Josh here on the side, on the gig of the other side, live or, or radio show, um, you know, or he'll have to do this when we're on hiatus. Now, uh, in your professional life, as if, um, uh, you have time when you're uh, following your dream and uh, doing your amazing career of music. You are a teacher. That's your vocation. And so uh, you said off air. That comes down to because you you care um, for people. Uh, you're compassionate. You want to make a difference in people's lives. And we were making the comparison. Uh, you know, uh, in our little pre-interview of how music can all play into that same equation. Uh, you know, because everyone needs, you know, compassion. They need to find themselves and, you know, to live their dream. So can you comment further on that? And we'll go from there, Dre. Yeah, I think we were just talking about how, uh, you know, like you asked if I was involved in any mental health um, professions, and I said, well, no, but I'm a teacher, so I care for 27 kids every single day, right? And I care for my own family and my own kids and my own friends and, and all that, right? So it's all about just trying to model how to take care of my own mental health and, again, using music as kind of an outlet to just let out your emotions and a lot of songwriting has come out this year because, like you said, you know, going through a hard time and a good time, right? Songwriting can just let the beast out. And even if you don't write your own songs, even just belting it out, like, you know, it doesn't matter if you're good or if you're not good. It's just about making a joyful noise. And that really can, it can raise people's spirits. Now, getting to that fact that you are a teacher, how has the education system changed in your opinion, um, today, then say 20 years ago? Okay, that's a loaded question, so uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to focus on the positive because that's what I do. So uh, one thing that I will say is really cool is uh, kids now are learning skills that we weren't learning 20 years ago because we didn't even know we needed those skills. So that's pretty cool. And kids are learning things like robotics and computers and all sorts of stuff. So, um, but yeah, I will say it's really hard to keep them engaged because now we're competing against video games. So, um, what I've learned is 
kids are going to respond when they know me as a person as opposed to just following the rules because that's not how it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, they had to do what they had to do, and now you have to motivate them differently. Well, that is a fact, and I can remember when I had the um, honor and privilege of of teaching um, students um, many years ago on a a teaching placement. Um, You know, I could... uh, uh, relate and understand where you're coming from. Uh, I taught um, individuals at both the elementary and then did peer tutor- tutoring, but it is essential and there's great teachers like you uh, and we have to, um, you know, focus on the classroom and focus on what um, the kids are good at and connect with them that way. And I hope um, that we can do this uh, with the curriculum in years to come. Now, you mentioned just before we get to uh, the music um, that you want to showcase here today on the other side, live at the beautiful 116 Bistro in downtown Belleville, 116 Pinnacle Street, is you want to make sure that um, you are out there promoting um, many causes, including mental health. Uh, And with the annual Bell Let's Talk Day coming up every year, uh, that's just one corporate example of an organization that has tried to um, eliminate the stigma and raise money surrounding uh, mental illness. Um, So maybe um, you just want to further comment on that. And then you've got a special song that you just wrote that you wanted to debut. It's an original of yours on that very subject matter. And we'll go from there. Thanks. Yeah, so, um, I mean, something I do in my class to kind of really work on our mental health is I have the kids check in every day. They they put their name on top of a meme that kind of represents their emotions. So they'll say, you know, how they're feeling that morning. Are they feeling sad, angry, confused, meh, or whatever, right? So they get a chance to kind of just be in check with their emotions, which I think is very powerful because then you can own that emotion. And then we always start our day with a gratefulness journal. So we write down five things every day we're grateful for. And I mean, I've got kids that are like, dude, I don't want to be here today. My mom forced me to come to school and I'm like, bruh, I feel you. I also don't always want to be here. Sometimes you just would rather be in your bed. I get that, but we're all in here together. So let's, you know, be a family and try to make our day well. And so we start with the great fitness journal because there's always something to be thankful for. Um, so yeah, I would love to sing this song for you. Um, this song is called don't bleed on me. And, uh, it's about basically don't, don't be putting your problems on someone else who's trying to be there for you, right? And so it can relate to a relationship. It can relate to um, you just dumping your stuff on someone else. It can, re- like, I find that even as a teacher, sometimes, you know, what what you see is just the tip of the iceberg, but really what's going on is deep underneath that. And so sometimes we just need to say, I'm here for you. I will be a listening ear. I'm here to love you. I'm not here to judge you. And uh, that's kind of what this song is about, is just to show the love and to say it's okay to not be okay. I'm here with you anyways, and I'm not going anywhere, and I'm I'm here to stay. Okay. All right. Here. Hopefully I remember how it goes, because I just finished writing it last night. (laughs) Get your thoughts. Don't bleed on me I'm not the one who cut you Don't bleed on me When you're hurt and sore Baby, can't you see That I'm here to love you I'm so sorry I didn't know you before I'm no broken I'm no bruised 
I've been taken for granted And I've been used So I'm healing my heart Taking time and space So I'm not bleeding All over the place Don't bleed on me I'm not the one who cut you Don't bleed on me When you're hurt and so on Baby, can't you see? I'm just here to love you I'm so sorry I didn't know you before When you see darkness in the light of day It's okay if you're not okay It's time to face all your demons Don't try to hide We'll fight them together with me by your side But don't bleed on me I'm not the one who cut you Don't bleed on me when you're hurt and so on Baby, can't you see? I'm just here to love you I'm so sorry I didn't know you before Open up your mind Follow your heart Healing takes time Don't be afraid to start Go on, let it out I'll be a listening ear But don't shut me out You've got a friend right here Oh, but don't bleed on me I'm not the one who cut you Don't bleed on me When you're hurt and sore Baby, can't you see That I'm here to love you, love you I'm so sorry for what happened before I'm so sorry 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 For what happened before Baby can't you see That I'm here to love you that is just truly amazing, and that's a message that we all need at some point in our lives, just to know that so, someone is, is there when we need them, and someone is a friend no matter what. And so what I have to say to anyone out there who is going through any problem or trial or tribulation, public or privately, please never give up hope. There's always somewhere to turn. There's always a bigger and brighter day ahead if we allow ourselves to believe and take that chance. Now, what would you say in your opinion, Dre, um, is the pursuit of happiness? How can we find that as individuals and get on with our life and make something of ourselves? Uh, well, there's no greater joy than filling someone else's love bucket, right? So when you're feeling down, the best thing you can do is to go and do something nice for someone else or to say something encouraging to someone else. Um, you know, there's days that I have felt lonely and the first thing I do is I blow up my phone by myself. I message my girlfriends and I say, hey girl, I'm thinking about you or I hope you're having a blessed day or hey beautiful, good morning or just something so someone else is going to get that on their phone, right? And they're going to go, dang, 
dang, someone is thinking about me. Or, you know, when you're going through the Tim Hortons saying, you're doing a great job today. Thank you so much. So when you're sending those positive love vibes out to the universe, then it comes back to you, right? And so we're here to serve and we're here to give. And when you're doing that, that is the pursuit of happiness because happiness will come to you because happiness comes through serving others. Before we get to another one of your uh, great songs, um, and um, perhaps it will be one of your favorite covers, I'm not sure, but um, what else would you like to achieve next? You said you're working on a dance band. Of course, um, there'll be many events. Um, we at the Other Sun Media Group hope we have the honor and pr privilege of working with you at, a, uh, at an event um, coming up um, at places like this, the 116 Bistro in beautiful downtown Belleville, Ontario. So tell us that and tell us where people can get more of your music on social media and we'll go from there. And then we'll get into a song. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I'm actually pretty new to publishing my stuff on social media. Um, to be honest, I didn't post anything for a while because I thought it was like selfish and attention-seeking, which I know, it seems crazy now. Um, it wasn't until a few friends said to me, how come you're not posting any of these songs? They wanted to hear it, and I realized, oh, other people are getting joy out of my music, and that's when I started posting. So... Um, on Instagram, my handle is Muffins Andrea, and that's because my my baking business is called Mrs. Muffins, so that's where that came from. But anyways, it's Muffins Andrea on Instagram, and um, it's Dre's Tunes on Facebook, and uh, the band is called Days Gone Bad with a Z, so they have their own Facebook page as well. And I am going to start a page for Midnight Snacks, but I just haven't done it yet. So uh, on Facebook, I'm Andrea Ricks R I X. Dre. Oh, yeah, Dre. Did you ever think of starting a, a mu musical baking show? You'd be, you'd be better than Julia Child. Uh, sometimes, except for whenever I've posted videos of me doing cookies or whatever with music in the background, it always gets blocked because, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, we were mentioning before we were on air, um, one of our favorite um, musical influences, um, both of ours um, is Stevie Nicks, I do believe. Um, we, uh, you mentioned some. So uh, you were going to uh, try and do a little Stevie Nicks. Can, can you do that for us here on the other side live today? Yeah, uh, sure can. It's more Fleetwood Mac um, than just Stevie Nicks. But yeah, um, Fleetwood Mac, my dad used to play it all the time when I was a kid. And I remember thinking, oh, dad, it's so lame. I want to listen to <laughs> rap and, like, all these, you know, artists that are not even around. But Fleetwood Mac is still around. And now, as an adult, I realize oh, how don't, great Fleetwood don't Mac is. Thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't say, yeah, I love all the Fleetwood Mac songs. I just didn't know I liked them until I got the album. And I was like, oh, I like all of these songs. So, anyways, uh, I will play one for you. This one's called Rhiannon. Taking 
that taken by the sky Taken by, taken by the sky Well, that was that was better than Fleetwood, you know. Uh, yes, and it only happened here at the 116 Bistro. Our thanks to the staff for hosting us. We look forward to having you back. Um, so, if someone was to ask you, uh, what's the one thing you want to achieve uh, in your pursuit? of the the amazing musical career that you're already on the the journey of what would it be and we'll go from there and then you can play us out uh well my goal as a musician is to make people smile and to make people have a moment or a memory or feel something so yeah that's that's my goal is to make you smile and to really get in touch with your feels listen dre i i think jeremy and me could um Sing, sing the song picture with you. We could be the twin kid rocks, couldn't we, Jeremy? Well, she could be Cheryl Crow, but I don't know if I could be Kid Rock. Anyway, it's been our pleasure to have you on Other Side Live here today, and we look forward to having you back real soon. For now, this has been The Other Side Live, so play us out on 91X FM. We'll see you next time. God bless. You want me to sing a song? Oh, <laughs> okay. I wasn't ready for that. Dang it. Oh, I should play you this. Uh, I've been playing this really fun one lately.
drink of whiskey you think of you Tell me, do you feel the same way too? When I drink whiskey, I think of you. Tell me, do you feel the same way too? The Other Side Radio Show is a production of The Other Side Media Group in association with 91X. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved. Connect on Facebook at The Other Side Media Group, Instagram at Jeremy Tyler Davis, or on YouTube at Jeremy T. Davis Babel, Ontario for on-demand episodes and more. Tune in next time for another great episode of The Other Side Radio Show.